All right, good afternoon, everybody. It's KB5 MIQ Big Boy. Uh, we got a couple of subjects we're going to talk about this week. First, I want to thank everybody for all the positive comments and support I got about the uh, collaboration with MFJ for product reviews and uh, having a lot of fun with that. <coughs> hey, old ham radio cat just showed up. Uh, plan to do about one video a month on a couple of pieces of gear each month. I've got several pieces of gear in here that we're going to be reviewing over the next several months. Um, going to do probably the next one will come out Thanksgiving weekend. Be on a couple of tuners and a little volt gauge. Uh, the IntelliTuner they sent me was for an ICOM, so I got a WD5HKV Jeff and K1ENT Kent. They're going to try it out for me this month and uh shoot some video with them, and I've got a travel tuner hooked up I'm playing with. I'm going to shoot some video with that. But I really enjoy doing this for y'all, and thanks again to MFJ for entrusting me with, with this. And um, not ready to start it yet, but uh, after this giveaway we're going to do tonight, you'll be able to get some of that gear, MFJ gear, give to you. Uh, we've got a ham, our ham club does a quarterly drawing for new hams so i'm gonna let them have some of it for new hams but i'm gonna be giving some of it away here on the channel so y'all just hang around for that thanks for everybody who subscribed uh got i'm at 10.99 so we're gonna do the 1100 subscriber giveaway and i really don't know a good way to do this so we're gonna just let y'all decide we'll give two items away broken circuit ranch youtuber k1nt kent uh Donated a couple items to it. First one is a uh, regular external speaker, just an external speaker. And I'm gonna put a, one of my shack koozies with it. The second item, which for you guys that really in the building might really like, is an older Ramsey's synthesized AM transmitter kit. Been opened, but instructions, all the parts are in there. We'll throw a shack koozie in with that. Uh, it's a complete bill kit. It's got all everything in it. But Ramsey Electronics, I don't even think they're around anymore. But it's a kit. Should be good. So, just like before, my email will be in the description of the video. And uh, the slide at the end about the 10 meter group's got my email in it. Shoot me an email. Name, address. Uh, call sign if you got one. If you're going to be a new ham, go ahead and enter anyway. You're just as eligible as any of them. Tell me what you want to win, either the speaker or the bill kit. And I'll just separate the drawing out like that. I used to, if I was giving away two different closer type items, I'd just draw it to them and announce who got one and the other. But being separate kits, somebody might not want a bill kit. So if you're interested in drawing for the speaker, Tell me, I'll put, I'll do two separate drawings and we'll do it next week's, next Saturday's video. Uh, got two subjects we'll talk about tonight. First subject, and I had talked about the ARRL a couple of months ago, but I didn't talk about their upcoming price change. I don't think the information was out yet. Now, guys, I'm going to talk about the ARRL in a minute, and I'm directing this at new hams and prospective hams. Old guys, if you've been around the hobby a long time, there's a lot of guys that can't stand ARRL. A lot of them are great. That's fine. I'm not addressing this to y'all. I don't want to turn this into a lightning and protection and grounding argument, so I'm just trying to give new guys some advice. Effective uh, January 1, 2024. For U.S. membership, annual membership is going from $49 to $59 a year. That does not, I say again, that does not include 
a hard copy of a magazine. You will not get a magazine in the mail at $59 a year. But it does give you all the benefits of being an ARRL member plus access to their four digital magazines. All right. I knew they had QST and On the Air. I didn't know what the other two are, but I've, I've got to look into that. Um, if you want to add the printed copy, that's an extra $25 per year for 12 magazines. Um, you know what? I, I'm, I like hard copy magazines as well as anybody. Uh, you can take them to the library with you when you go or whatever. But I'm not going to pay 25 a year extra for a hard copy magazine. And I need to be drug kicking and screaming into the 21st century on this kind of stuff. I think it's still a good deal at $59 a year. Access to four magazines. Access to all the archive information ARRL's got. Uh, the ARRL store with their books and stuff that's available for ham radio. You guys, you, I think you should consider it. I'm not telling you to join, but it would might help you learn this hobby. And like I've said all along with this channel, I'm just trying to give guys some direction for information and, and instead of doing the YouTube quick fix answer on social media. So just consider it and go from there. Now, talking about the computer caveman here because I only been paying my bills online in the last six months. Up until six months ago, I was still writing checks and using postage stamps. And the only reason I quit, post office lost about six bills between me and my dad. I had to stop payment on. I decided that wasn't going to happen again. So I, I, even I can learn this computer stuff up to a point. But like I said, you get all the benefits plus the four digital magazines. So, you know, I still think it's a good, good option to help new hams learn the hobby and learn all the different aspects of the hobby. And just have an access to the information that you can get from there. Okay. There's another thing that just come out. Now, this is one subject I am not big up, not up on. There's other hams that can probably do a better job than I'm fixing to do with this. But we're going to talk about it. The FCC wants to bolster Hamburger Radio. Commission will vote in November on plan to remove outdated technical rest restrictions. Now, you guys that are really into digital communications and, and amateur radio, this is probably going to be right up y'all's alley. FCC Chairwoman Jessica Rosen Morsell, I can't pronounce it, says the FCC plans to incentivize, incentivize innovation, experimentation, and amateur radio bands by getting rid of outdated restrictions and providing licenses with the flexibility to use modern digital emissions. The commission is November meeting expect to take action on a report and an order that would eliminate the bald rate limitation and establish a bandwidth limitation in the amateur radio bands below 29.7. Yada, 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 all kind of different stuff in here. What we've got now in the, on the high frequency data teletypes of 300 baud limit acts for frequencies below 28 megahertz and it's 1200 baud in the 10 meter band said this change would allow amateur radio service to operate more efficiently including during times of emergency to support public safety you know they're they're saying they're going to establish a bandwidth limitation of 2.8 kilohertz I'm not up enough on digital probably to even talk about it, but if it will help, you know, it's probably a good idea because the limitations that were set forth have been set forth back in the early eighties when they just started talking about digital. Uh, I've done HF packet one time back in the nineties in the military. We had a deployment in Dominican Republic and we set up an HF packet station at the base and at Dom Rep for data transmission. It worked okay, wasn't, it didn't work that great. Uh, but it wasn't because of the bald rate, it was just because of people lack of understanding HF and some of the limitations uh, frequency managers put on us. But digital is really coming on in this, in this hobby. FT8 is big, all these other digital things I hadn't even touched the base on yet so maybe 
maybe that's good news. I kind of think it is. Uh, it's like the good news we got when ARRL uh, told the FCC not to do the other thing they tried to do with that company was wanting to do high-speed data transmission just out of the HF bands. You know, that kind of ruled in our favor. So hopefully between ARRL and the FCC, we, they won't do anything to hurt us unless it will help us. And the younger guys are really into computers more so than voice. Might attract some more people with hobby. I'm sure I won't get roasted for that statement, but that's all. That's what I'm about. And we've got to get some people interested in this hobby if we're going to keep it viable and keep it alive for the next generations. All right, guys, that's about all I can cover today. Uh, keep looking out for reviews. Uh, we're having a good time doing them. Really, really thanks again to MFJ. Check Main Trading Company out. Richard and Christine up there at MTC got a bunch of end-of-the-year sales going right now. He just got his mystery boxes online and got a ton of used gear and getting more in every day. So check out the store up there online or if you're in the Paris area, stop in and see them. Guys, we're at 1099. So I'm gonna go, like I said, we're starting at 1100. I appreciate everybody who subscribed to the channel. Leave me a comment, shoot me an email. My email is going to be posted in the description. It'll also it's on my QRZ page. Anyway, I can ever help you, give me a shout. This is KB5MIQ Big Boys, Baby 3.